Hi, uh, we're going to do a run through of the Microsoft Reader ebook reader program. So uh, we would click on Start, click on Microsoft Reader. And uh, as you can see, what it's done here is it's loaded what's called the library, and you see it right here. Uh, Reader is a pretty sophisticated program. <laughs> it's smart enough to look through the entire machine and gather together all of the ebooks that it can read. So <clears throat> it shows it to, to you in what is called the library. And notice uh, also there's, there's an online help setting right here where you can learn even more about the program by clicking on help. But let's say, for example, uh, we want to take a look at the, this book here. So we can click on it, and we'll start to load. Okay, and now you notice where it says Go To here. So I'm going to click on Go To, and I'm going to click on Begin Reading, and that's going to take me to the first page. Now the way uh, Reader works, it's very simple. You simply uh, click on the arrow keys down here and showing you the maps of that book to go forward and you can click on back to go back when you want to go back to I guess what you'd call the main menu up here at the title click on the down arrow and you can choose where you want to go so let's go back to the library and from here let's take a look at some of the settings now, what uh, is showing here, this is, of course, a very important thing for people who read ebooks, and that is the font size. So we can change the font size. This is uh, small, and then we can incrementally increase it until we get to a size we're comfortable with. This is probably a, a good size, I would say, for, for a lot of things. Now, notice up here it says page one. So I can click on this arrow here and it's going to take me to page two of settings. And there are a number of uh, choices you can uh, make here. You can click here to set bookmarks, highlights, notes, and so forth. And then there's a third page, which is basically uh, an acknowledgement. Incidentally, you may see, and I, I hope you can read this, where this says this copy of Microsoft Reader is not yet activated. Don't worry about that. Uh, I don't even know if Microsoft is still activating copies of, of Reader or not. They're famous for starting things and, and just letting them sort of wither on the vine. Um, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, go back to our library. And um, <clears throat> something else I had wanted to show you uh, is this help file. I had mentioned that previously. But it pretty well covers uh, anything you would want to know. You can click in here, the keyboard will come up, and you can type in a search term. And that will uh, pull up any help that is available on that particular term. Um, OK. Uh, Again, we'll go back to begin reading, and now this is the complete help file. And uh, this is uh, on page 9. I guess someone must have started reading this once before. So let's click up here and go to the table of contents. And uh, from here, you can, you can see the table of contents, and you can click on any of these links if you need to know more. For example, changing font size. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> that is uh, pretty much it. That is uh, it's not a very complicated program. It's very easy to use, and uh, for that reason, it is justly famous. And so I hope this has helped you out some, and thank you very much.